Hey, a bit post-production note here, the lack of editing in this video is to avoid spoilers. So despite being incredibly popular, watching Naruto is very difficult because of the abundance of filler and the reordering of certain events in the Naruto anime. Of course, there's always the simplest method to watching Naruto or consuming the story of Naruto, which is read the manga, which is the first thing I will recommend you do. If you want to get the unfiltered vision of Masaki Kichimoto, read the Naruto manga, start at chapter 1, go to chapter 700. It's that simple, but you know that. Anybody who's looking into reading or consuming Naruto knows that the manga is the best way to do that. But if you're looking to watch the anime, today we are going to be going over the definitive way to watch Naruto. And this can get pretty complicated. First of all, I would recommend starting with the sub. I do not recommend the Naruto dub. There are a few standout actors, especially Yuri Lowenthal and Sasuke. And you can definitely check out the dub if you want to. But the sub is definitely the way to go. Especially with the way Naruto uses Japanese puns at times and Japanese wordplay, sometimes it just does not translate well when they try to translate it. Since it's Naruto famous, believe it, doesn't actually mean that in Japanese. In Japanese, it's actually a completely made up phrase, Daten Bayo. But you can of course start on episode 1 of the Naruto anime and watch until episode 25. The text question, all or nothing. Now, the following episode, episode 26, is a filler. It is completely filler, so you can indeed skip it and then watch episode 27, the tuning exam stage 2, the forest of death. After that, you're good for a pretty long time. You are good until episode 97, which is of course filler again, and you'll want to start off at episode 98. Do not a warning, ninja no more. This is where things start getting really bad. So then you can watch until episode 100, and then episode 101 to 106 are all filler. So you'll want to start up again at episode 107. The battle begins Naruto vs. Sasuke, and then you can keep watching until episode 136. 136 being a filler episode, and then you'll want to keep watching. And the next canon episode being a bit weird. It is episode 141, and it is called Sakura's Determination, which is canon and filler at the same time. The episode expands on canon and plays around with the timeline a bit, but you do need to watch it as it contains a very important theme. So definitely watch it, it is episode 141 entitled Sakura's Determination. It is mostly filler, but the filler is expanding heavily on canon, and the end of the episode contains fully canon material from the manga. Then you should skip the entire rest of the show, which is all filler, and watch episode 220, Departure, which as I said before, is a mix between canon and filler, as they are transitioning from a filler arc that is very long into the remaining canon of the story to end out part 1 with episode 220, Departure. Now this is where things get even more complicated, because there is a series of two episodes that in the manga take place between part 2 and part 1, take place during the time skip. But the anime didn't do them until late into Shippuden, so now is the time you should watch Naruto Shippuden episode 119 and 120, Takashi Chronicles A Boy's Life on the Battlefield part 1 and 2, which are totally canon to the manga, and in the manga take place between part 1 and part 2. For some reason, the anime decided to separate them and put them way later into Shippuden. I'm unsure why they made that decision, but they did, and this is the proper place those two episodes should go. After this, you are free to start up on episode 1 of Homecoming, and watch all the way to episode 27, and then skip 28, and then restart at 29, 
and watch all the way to 56. After that, there's another filler arc and you'll want to restart at 72. You're then free to keep watching all the way until episode 90, where you'll then want to stop again, there's a filler arc, and then restart at episode 112, keep watching, and then you'll want to stop again at episode 143, where you will encounter another filler arc that goes from episode 144 to 151, so you would be restarting Mechanic at episode 152. You can then watch easily all the way to episode 169, the two students, and then you'll want to skip episode 170 and 171, and restart at 172, and then you're good until 175. All that is canon, and then you'll want to take a nice long break because you're encroaching on a long filler arc. After 175, you will restart at episode 197, where you are good all the way until episode 222, in which you will then, after that, starting at 223, enter a long filler arc once again that will end at 243. So you'll want to skip all those episodes and restart watching canon at 243, and then you are good all the way until 256, where you do then another small filler arc, and you'll want to restart again at 261, as I said, episodes 257 to 260 are all filler, which is not fun. Then you can go from 261 to 270. Um, 271 is Road to Sakura, it is a movie tie-in, so if you are planning to watch the movie Road to Ninja, this would be where to watch the movie tie-in episode, but it is entirely filler, so that is up to you. Then, of course, continue with canon with 272 to 278. Then there are more filler episodes, and you will want to watch 282 and 283, which are canon. Then there is a long filler arc. However, you may want to check out episode 290 to 295, which are the power filler arc, which were allegedly originally supposed to be a movie, that ended up not happening and ended up getting turned into a really good filler arc. So I highly recommend it. It's actually really good filler. But then canon will resume at 296, where you will then watch until 302, and then you will encroach on another really long filler arc that will last all the way until episode 320. So, you can restart at 321, reinforcements arrive, where you are good and you will be watching straight up manga canon episodes, all the way up until 346, where you will encounter more filler, episode 347, all the way to 361 being filler, so then you can restart at episode 362, which is Kakashi Resolve. You can then keep watching all the way to 375, where you will want to stop for two episodes, because 376 and 377 are filler episodes promoting a video game of all things, so those are not worth watching. But then episodes 378 all the way to 387 are in fact canon. Then you can take a break for 3 episodes, because 388 to 390 are filler, and then you can watch 391 to 393, which are of course canon, and then you have way more filler. In fact, this filler lasts from 394 to 413. You can then watch episode 414 and 415, which are canon, You'll have to stop for two more episodes, because episodes 416 and 417 are filler. You can then restart and watch 418 to 421, which are all canon. You're then going to want to stop again, because episodes 422 and 423 are filler. You can then restart at 424 and watch to 426, which are all canon, and then you will improve on a really long filler arc that lasts from 427 all the way to 450. So you can skip 427 to 450 
and then you will enter a side story that is based on a light novel, which you can watch, it is very interesting, which is 455 all the way to 458, and then main canon will resume at 459 and run until 463, where you will then enter another filler arc, which will last until 468, and canon will then resume at 469 and go all the way until 479. You will then enter a mini filler arc that will last a couple of episodes. It lasts from 480 to 483, all filler, and then the rest of the series, 484 to episode 500, are all canon. At the end of which, you can move on to Boruto, which, while somewhat slice of life, is entirely canon. The entire Boruto anime is one canon story, which you can watch from episode 1 onward, but some of the episodes may be worth skipping, and I may make an entire separate video about what episodes and what story arcs in Boruto to watch and skip that is separate from this, and Boruto is indeed a separate show while still being a sequel. But guys, I hope this video helped you out if you've been planning to watch Naruto. I hope it was clear. I know it's very complicated. I just kind of wanted to go over the best way to watch this show, because there's a lot. And I also wanted to recommend some filler arcs, as I did, and it helped make a concise method of watching the show, especially because people seem to like my How to Watch Neon Genesis Evangelion video so much. So if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, tell me your thoughts on my watch order I have presented in the comments section down below if you've already seen Naruto, and if you plan on watching, tell me what you're looking forward to seeing in the show, as well as anything else you want to tell me about, including video requests. You can request something like this for another show, or even comic books. I plan to release one for Batman eventually. And I hope you enjoyed, though. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more stuff like this. You can also support the channel by checking out my PayPal, which is linked in the description box down below. And above all else, have a great day.